What's up guys? It's your host Alex here in my city of Toronto, Canada. You're looking at the intersection of DuPont Street and Davenport Road here in the old city of Toronto. And I'm here on the uh, east side of Dover Court Road. There's the CP line, which very, very long time ago used to be a passenger uh, uh, rail line called the uh, Midtown Toronto Line, I, I believe. Could be wrong on that, but. Well, guess what? It's freaking 20 degrees Celsius, and it's Saturday, November the 5th. You know, by you know by now we would have been in like chilly weather because you know it's 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 been a while since we've been in uh, this season of fall. I bet you, you I, I bet you like this like, like later this month we'll probably see our first snowfall, and then temperatures will probably plummet down to let's say like minus three or even like minus five. Who knows? But as I mentioned before, this is the weather here in Toronto. It is so bipolar. It's unpredictable. And that is why we have been having these very warm days. Thank you very much to the fog invading uh, the city for the past week. It's crazy. Fog radiation. And came to an end yesterday. And I am properly... <laughs> sorry, I am properly dressed for this. I am wearing just a t-shirt and my jeans. I'm rocking the University of Toronto Scarborough shirt. That's where I go to. I, I initially didn't want to reveal like which campus I went to. I mean, I did or initially I did say I went to I go to the University of Toronto, but uh, didn't want to say uh, when <laughs> or sorry or didn't want to say where though. Because uh, still, I, I, I actually now have videos that are dating back to four weeks. So because you know I haven't done a lot of walking videos in September, and then I kind of like went back at it in October. You know, September, I had to uh, really uh, take it easy there as I see a lone squirrel. I thought that was a cat or a rabbit for a second. But just look, maybe just look around you. There's probably going to be like a lot of people just in their sweaters or a, or a t-shirt. It's crazy. It feels like we're in spring or, a, or a early summer, but no, this is real. This is actually friggin' real. My truck Oh man, well, enjoy the uh, spring light temperatures if you're here in Toronto like me or anywhere in uh, southern Ontario because this is not going to last much longer. Anyway, I wanted to do a little walking video down Dover Court Road. I got off the 63 bus, so I walked all the way from uh, Ossington in DuPont. There's like a station wagon there from Minnesota. Wow. Looks like it's from the late 90s, I believe. My, I have a neighbor who has a uh, a blue 1997, 98 V70. Cool station wagon. This is the... Um, this is the BIA of Dovercourt Village. Unfortunately, as you can probably see, some of these businesses here are closed. Unfortunately, as I've been saying, COVID has had a very big impact on businesses and you know the economy was uh, you know suffering of course here's Hallam Street since 1985 we got a typical variety store here there's a Portuguese bakery in the other side and Ossington Avenue is just down the road to the east of here. I think we're gonna end this video off at let's maybe Dundas Street West. Italian restaurants. And of course a cannabis shop here. What gives? And of course the windows are frozen because it's a because uh, only 19 because you know people younger than 19 I believe cannot even see what's inside because of course it's illegal for anybody under 19 to be consuming, uh, you know, weed and uh, cannabis and all that stuff. Well, we are in for a turmoil of events this weekend because yesterday was the, um, they're still doing it right now at Young Dundas Square, but yesterday was the, uh, the uh, Ontario education workers striking for 
why why they're striking? Well, it's actually you, you might have think you might have think it's the teachers that are striking, but no, because you know teachers across Ontario they have the most benefits, they get a lot of pay, but it's the custodians and other and other uh, education workers are paid less that deserve better, and I support that. Right, I, I feel like they need a raise, but there's also going to be a few points I'm going to make. And it's particularly, it's going to be shaming the, the friggin' Ford government. I know, I'm not, I know, I've been kind of wanting to go on this political rant because it's, it's been a... See, look, I support education workers. Me too, for CUP members. Yeah, they, they, they deserve better, really, because... So, here's the thing. This strike um, came into effect yesterday, as I just mentioned. And, again, the reason why... The reason why uh, schools cannot, uh, despite that they have teachers, the reason is why you know the schools cannot uh, operate is because you know without the support workers, they can't uh, keep the kids in the classroom uh, lately. So, and, and and also Doug Ford initiated this friggin' uh, uh, this this uh, I forgot the name of the clause, but whatever it is, it's a clause, and it's just enticing fear and just taking away. Uh, you know, uh, people's powers and rights. It's terrible. And this is what the, this is why our government here, the government of Ontario is so effed up. Because Doug Ford does not really care about his own people of Ontario. He just, he only cares about his own friggin' self. His, oh my god. This is why the Ford government has put us all Ontarians into shambles. This government really, you know, I was talking with my friend yesterday. We met and did some fanning on, around the uh, TTC. And, uh, it's just, you know, he, you know, he, he agrees with me because Doug Ford was the one that kind of enticed this illegal strike action and this, and the, this, and the controversial Bill 28. But not only, so like, like not only that I should be supporting education workers. Oh, that's a nice Lamborghini right there. Or is it a Jaguar? I think it was a Jaguar. I apologize if, if I'm not so politically. Ugh, I, sorry, if I'm not so politically correct, I try to be, and I'm trying not to be biased as well. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I don't normally talk a whole lot of politics, but it's really been a big discussion here in this in this province. I feel like, I feel like that's why, you know, something because they're they're illegally striking when we're going for a, an in a, an inflation crisis. You know, keeping up with the cost of living. And it's not just that. My mom and I were having a discussion yesterday about, okay, we'll see. Well, she's a nurse. She used to work in a, a hospital. She doesn't do that anymore because of, you know, political reasons and, you know, COVID and so much other stuff. But anyway, I forgot to mention, the houses here are somewhat interesting. Probably they, probably they back to, like, let's say the, uh, what, the mid-1900s. There's the 161 bus. That'll take me to my old area of Hills Eglinton West. And of course, okay, it is a Wi-Fi bus. Well, my mom, as I, as I was saying, my mom is a nurse. And the government, and, and, and she told me that uh, the government has uh, capped their pay because they, they, you know, the government doesn't want them to, uh, to a strike. And yet, the nurses are the ones that have risked their entire lives and sacrificed themselves, especially during the pandemic, just so they can step up on the forces and uh, take care of our patients or who have COVID-19. Now it's 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 on the ver it's still on the verge of collapsing. I remember like like last year and even earlier this year they had to close down a few hospitals. I think they're still doing that shit. And uh, you know, this is why this is why the Ontario health system is going to be failing for the most part, because the government does not seem to be caring about uh, about uh, adding more beds and hiring more staff or hiring more workers to be at the hospitals and stuff. And my mom says it's unfair because she says the, like, like the, the education workers are protesting. Yeah, of course. I mean, as I mentioned, I support them. 
because I did, they deserve better. But my mom says it's unfair because nurses aren't allowed to strike. They can't even ask for more than 1% of their pay. And yet education workers ask for like, what, freaking 11% of that? I sincerely hope I'm not going to get grilled at for these comments here. I'm not trying to be a, you know, a bit, uh, I mean, again, this, this is my opinion and I'm sure you guys are going to agree with me, but if you don't, that's fine. Or if you think that I'm so political and, you know, don't really focus on anything else, then you're a snowflake. That's my, that, that, that's just what I have to say. But yeah, it's terrible what the government has done to nurses. They're, 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 like he's treating them as well as my mom in an unfair manner. And they, they, they really should deserve better because they've worked their asses off to save, uh, to save everyone from COVID-19, especially at the height of the pandemic. They were getting lots of love two years ago. And then these days, Doug Ford's just not caring about them. So that's how it has came to be. Anyway, here we are on Bloor Street West. And we're gonna keep heading down here. Perfect timing. Sunny day today. It was gonna be like that for the rest of the day. And of course, the same 20 degrees Celsius temperatures. Maybe I could have worn my shorts too, but eh, I'm wearing a I'm wearing jeans instead. But yeah, stupid government needs to get their asses out and vote for it out. I don't really want to go back into that anymore. Politics is really a huge thing of discussion and stuff. And oh yeah, I'm going to be filming a walking video along Dundas after of this and probably end at Baffers. And then I'm going to go straight to the Eaton Center. And I'm still aware that they're, I think they're still protesting at Young Dundas Square. So I might encounter a, a, much of that stuff, but no, I'm not going to be filming that because there's going to be a lot of friggin' communism co no, co no comments on my videos. I don't want all that shit and stuff. It's going to be friggin', uh, friggin' too political and uh, a bit controversial and stuff. I don't really want to make the theme on uh, politics and stuff. I understand, you know, you know, if Johnny wants to go get the, you know, f you know, cover, cover it. Okay, sure. But it's not really my thing. I don't really want to be going deeper and deeper into that. I, I can certainly talk about it, but maybe not covering actually, actually covering uh, the events. And you know, I don't even think I talked a whole lot about you know the Freedom Convoy thing in uh, way back in January and February. All I could say was it was a lot of, of uh, crap. So hey, Ohio. Oh, and yeah, I forgot to mention, I was just making little statements on, you know, you're trying to like defer me for anything. All right, well, my channel, don't watch, pretty much can do whatever I want. And thank God we have democracy here in Canada. Again, as I mentioned before, this is a free country where we have the right to speak our own mind and opinion. So God forbid we can even do that. And that's, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, enough of the political shit. Let's just keep going here with the walk. I think I could have brought my water bottle with me, but I hear sirens in the distance. Some of the leaves have already started to fall off. Look, they're all in the bags here. As we're coming up to Hepburn Street, let me see if I can make this light. There we are. Now, now I lost my train of thought. Crap. See, some of the houses here have been uh, rebuilt. Or partially rebuilt, I should say. Nevertheless, the old city of Toronto never ceases to amaze us with some of their interesting homes. I think Montreal is like a lot, a thousand times better than... Uh, well, with, with, well, with the uh, aesthetic designs and stuff, but Toronto could like still stand out, of course. Now if I 
film my second video on Dundas and head over to Bath first. And we'll have to hop on a streetcar. But the thing is, though, if Young and Dundas is still closed, streetcars, there's probably a good chance I'm going to be stuck in traffic or can't even get there. So, could I just walk all the way to the Eaton Center? I don't know. We'll see about that. Nevertheless, it's a nice day outside. Take advantage of the uh, spring-like temperatures if you're if you're anywhere here in Toronto or Southern Ontario. So got the Halloween decorations up. Halloween was last week, Monday. Now we gotta get ready for probably the most wonderful and depressing time of the year, Christmas. Why did I say depressing? Well, past I think it's because of COVID. Past few years, I just felt depressed at Christmas because we couldn't see anybody, and you know, last year I just. I just honestly didn't feel like celebrating Christmas, even though, you know, I did. But things are getting better, and we hope that, you know, everybody will be g gathering around with their families and stuff. Unfortunately, we didn't do that for Thanksgiving, but uh, Christmas is a big deal, and hopefully we will do something like that. And I've been wanting to go to the Christmas market at Distillery for a while, and maybe I'll do that. But here's the thing, as I mentioned before, I'm, out, I'm already halfway through my first semester at U of T and uh, you know final exams the, the end of the semester is when you know us students get you know oh, sorry just gotta get so stressed about you know having to write them and stuff lucky me I think I only got I think I got three I believe or is it one that's a, a, a little project or something I don't know I don't know but uh, it's probably going to be a, um, as I mentioned before in one of my last walking videos, I am probably going to post an update on the community tab that I'm not going to be making a whole lot of recent videos, probably until I'm done exams, which will prob which will be like early to mid-December. And then hopefully I'll have some time to go in and check out Christmas decorations around the city. And of course film the usual transit content. I know I've been mainly uh, filming TTC stuff. Haven't done. I haven't really done like Go Transit stuff. The only the only thing I've done so far since uh, the university started was I did uh, film a few My Way routes and I did one St. Catherine's transit route as well, which that still has to be published. So still lots of videos to go in the bank. But now at least I'm not at least I'm not dating back to a month to a month and a half. Now it's like four weeks. So, and sometimes I post, a, I still post like three, t three videos a day, but that's if one video is like random or, uh, you know, something really intrigues because, you know, because today, this morning, I posted a, a video of the uh, Eglinton Crosstown uh, LRV testing with my buddy Yahia, and it was perfect timing too, so I wonder how much, I wonder how much views it's going to get because my first catch at that it was just, it was just blowing up. Now it has like 2,000 views. And that's videos certainly have, have shown up on Ever's recommend, recommended feeds. That's for sure. And I stopped recording by accident. I was trying to uh, look at something, the camera here. My camera is partially broken, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I've ordered a replacement um, battery door, which is at the bottom of the camera. So as of right now, like it, it's it's currently uh, it's currently like on the uh, open side, and will probably be there's there's definitely ways I could I could definitely close it, but it's gonna keep popping back open. So oh, I'm not gonna receive my parts until like end of November this month, as it's coming from China, and I think it was I think it's already been shipped. But either way, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while, which I don't understand why. Mmm, Starbucks. I already feel like grabbing a drink or snack from there. Thing is though, frappuccinos are expensive. They're like seven dollars, and every Monday before I go to class, I always grab an iced coffee, which is like three forty-five. I got the, I got the mocha frapp on uh, Tuesday before filming a bus ride on the nine fifty-three route. Who doesn't like the sound of crunching leaves? I have no idea what neighborhood we're in now. 
I know this is not Little Italy for sure, because that would be like fervor to the east. I think we might be in the Broughton Village neighborhood. Anyway, here's College Street. I think they redid the uh, sidewalk here. Make it out of bricks. Nice looking change. Hey, there's the 506, I believe. Yes, it is the 506. On its regular routing, as further down, it's gonna be, it, it diverts, I think from Bathurst, as they're doing major construction along College Street, that's causing some causing some confusion in the, you know, all that. Johnny always seems to be talking about this uh, this place here, Gongo is a, is a Kai. I think it's a. Correct me if I'm wrong. It looks like a looks like it's a Thai Russian. I've I've heard him mention it like so many times. And was it? I wonder if that's the only location that's in the city. I could be wrong though. Hey, Starbucks. I am. Maybe maybe I'm gonna get something. Maybe I'm gonna get a baked item from there. When I get when I go to the uh, Eden Center. Ooh wee. Anyway. I think that's Dundas Street coming up ahead. Looks like it. And then uh, after I wrap this video up, I'm going to start a new one. Like I've always done past days. Don't think I'm going to be making a whole lot of walking videos this week. I probably won't even have time to do that. For the, for the rest of the semester. I'm working on an essay that's due on uh, on Thursday. So I'm gonna be at like Robart studying a lot. The only time I may have to do videos is filming bus rides or subway rides as well. Or walking videos if they're just around the, if they're just around the, like where I go to school and stuff. Because don't forget, not only go to, not only go to uh, Scarborough campus, I also go to St. George, not to take horses though, but also mainly to uh, go to Robarts. I love the fall foliage. If I'm not mistaken, Dovercourt goes all the way down to, I believe, Queen Street. Just near the West Queen West District. Anyway, I think we're in Brockton Village. These jeans are so damn thick. Okay, there's there's down the street up ahead at the street lights. Oh, what's that all about? Woo! St. Anne's Road. Hey, that's a police station. I thought that was a school for a second. What station is this? Division number 14. I think this is... Is this a new police station? Look at this. Look at this. Now this neighborhood is, is protected because they got this. I have a feeling it was built like three, four years ago. So look, there's two cops on, my, on the other side of the street. I haven't seen any squirrels today. Oh, actually I did. Uh, after I started the video. Hard respect to, hard respect to our Toronto police and GTA officers. They're really risking and sacrificing their lives. And, I'm, and I honestly think it's the most dangerous job 
in the United States, it's pretty much a problem because of, you know, police brutality and uh, violence. Look at that, big gates here. That stuff. And, but here, like Toronto police, they don't really use a lot of excessive force. They just, I feel, I feel like they, 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 they care a lot more about uh, their uh, us and our safety and stuff. But unfortunately, in the United States, it's a whole different story. Everyone, they always got to use their guns on, uh, on some people, even when they're unarmed and stuff. Terrible. I think it's because we're Canadian. We're so just polite about it. I don't want to get into that, that's for sure. Well, here is Dundas Street West. I think we might be in the little Portugal district. Because it's not too far. I think to my west of here is Dufferin Street. That would be the little Portugal area. I haven't done a walking video along this part of Dundas since like February. But I'm going to be heading east now. Probably passing through Trinity Bellwoods. Oh, yeah, well, guys, uh, gonna end this off in a moment or two. As I just missed the light bulb, well, I'm gonna cross to the other side and uh, end things off and start another one. All right, well, guys, uh, wanna thank you all for watching. And if you really enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment. And if you're new here, subscribe if you haven't already. It's stay tuned for more videos. And also, you can check out my efforts as well. A lot of people do that, and I really appreciate it. And if you want to support my channel, don't hesitate to donate to me via PayPal or Super Thanks. Your support would be, will be, uh, it's very appreciated, and I really can't thank you guys enough. So, thanks for watching. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.